The Tampa Bay Rays have officially announced Tuesday that they designated struggling first baseman and outfielder Yoshi Sisugo for assignment. Yoshi is in the second season of his two-year $12 million contract that represented a relatively sizable investment for the Tampa Bay Rays who honestly don't like to spend money that often. They'll now have a week to trade him, pass him through waivers, or release him. Corner infielder Kevin Podlo is up from Triple A Durham in his place. Yoshi was a really popular slugger back in Japan when he played for the Yokohama Dana Bay Stars. He batted 285, 382, and 528 in parts of 10 seasons, including a 293, 402, and and 574 with 139 home runs in four years leading up to his free agency. He struggled in 2020 with the Rays, but showed at least some of his power, slugging eight long balls, five doubles, and a triple, and 185 trips to the plate last summer. That power has completely evaporated in 2021, however, as Sutsugo has just four doubles and no home runs through his first 87 plate appearances. It's unlikely that the Rays will find a taker for his salary. He still owed $5.46 million through season's end, though they could always try some kind of swap involving another back contract. Such deals are hard to put together in a short window during the season, making it likelier that he'll be placed on waivers or just simply released. In an interview with the Rays general manager, he said, certainly not the outcome that we had in mind, that Yoshi had in mind, but we felt like this was a decision that at this point was best for our team as we look forward here. He was professional, he was gracious, we appreciate him for all the effort that he's put in to this point. If he is not acquired by another team over the next week, he can become a free agent and sign elsewhere. Or if there's no other opportunity, he may choose to rejoin the Rays as part of their AAA Durham roster. I don't want to close the book on him, but I do think that the opportunity wasn't going to be there for him to turn himself around right now, said Rays manager. I think it requires some regular playing time that wasn't going to be there. I can't necessarily pinpoint one particular thing, but I do believe that there is a better version of Yoshi that is in there right now. But it's going to require a mental reset of sorts and regular work, which just wasn't going to be there at the moment. So as a Tampa Bay Rays fan, this is my thoughts on this. I think Yoshi should go down to AAA. I think he should take some time down there. And in my opinion, I don't think he's adjusting to the majors that well, because if you think about it, he's coming from Japan. Everything is different there. Everything involving baseball is different there. So bring him to the major leagues, have a shortened season, no spring training, have all these different restrictions. I bet it's really, really stressful and overwhelming for him. Not to mention, now this is his first full regular season in the major leagues i think he just needs some time to adjust and i think going down to triple a and playing with some of the names there such as wonder franco g-man Choi's down there currently and people like that i think he should be able to get himself together and ideally come back to the Rays as a push for a playoff spot i think the Rays should go ahead and keep him through the rest of his contract and see how he does in AAA and bring him up during the playoffs. And if he doesn't perform the rest of this year, I say it's time to cut ties. In other news, here's some injury updates for the Tampa Bay Rays. Kevin Kiermaier's time on the 10 day injured list will hopefully be close to a minimum dent, said the Rays manager. Testing revealed no broken bones or ligament damage in his brained left wrist, but based on previous injuries, to his left hand he noted that his recovery is very day-to-day -day, we just kind of have to wait to see how it responds to rest into downtime michael waka that was injured with a right hamstring tightness through bullpen session and took part in fielding drills on tuesday cash said in the reports were that waka felt much better and waka is eligible to come off the 10-day il on thursday so that's going to do it for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed this video 
I'm going to do more videos just like this throughout the season, just talking about different players and their performances and just things like this in general. I find it very fun to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Consider dropping a like on this video if you did. Consider subscribing down below as well. It really helps me out a lot. We're less than 50 subscribers away from 8,000. And other than that, guys, if you have any suggestions on a player that I should do next besides the race, definitely let me know by dropping a comment down below. Hopefully, Yoshi picks things up and becomes a player that the Rays have hoped he would be, but only time will tell. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in my next video.